Faithway, Pastor Welch here with our halftime report. What a great week it's been. Uh, Wednesday already, looking forward to next Sunday. Last Sunday, we learned in our education hour, we started a conversation uh, about how to talk to people about Christ. And as a believer, it, it's something that it overjoys us. It also uh, kind of intimidates us. We got people out there that don't like the gospel of Christ, and that's okay. Uh, we need it. Well, it's not okay that they don't, but it's okay in our lives. We, we're secure in Jesus Christ. We're just going to go give the message and see what God does uh, in the return. So we started the conversation, and we're going to learn more this next week. Sunday morning, we had a wonderful morning. God really did a great work at Faithway, and I was so thankful for the two ladies that got baptized, and we're thankful that they're, they decided to follow Jesus in that and they're stepped out by faith and now we're going to see God just uh, work in their lives and so we're so thankful for you too we can't wait to see what God does through you and uh, as you submit to him sweetly then uh, we learned uh, about uh, a great passage of scripture in Matthew chapter 9 we learned about an unexpected follower Matthew a guy who's sitting at the seat of customs Jesus said follow me and he immediately left and followed him and then threw a party and the and in the party we learned about some un upset sorry some upset Pharisees those Pharisees really didn't like the fact uh, that that Jesus was sitting with sinners and publicans they they wanted him to separate they wanted to, they wanted Jesus to follow their rules and uh, they thought they can make themselves holy enough for God to accept them but Jesus was there to help them understand that they could not be accepted in in God's eyes unless uh, except for the unmerited favor of God, the grace of God. And so Jesus shows that unmerited favor to both Matthew, the publicans, the sinners, and the Pharisees by helping them understand it's not what by, it's not what they can do to get to God. It's what God did for them so that they can have their relationship renewed uh, in God. And that, aren't you thankful uh, for grace? Because without it, uh, we wouldn't even be here. And then secondly, we wouldn't have access to Jesus Christ. We wouldn't have this relationship with God through Jesus Christ by faith in him. He did it all for us on the cross. We just need to accept him. We had some great conversations Sunday. Sunday night, we also talked about um, continued praise. We learned about preaching. We learned about some distinct uh, uh, distinct uh, attributes of preaching. And then, uh, uh, then this next Sunday, we're going to be continuing our study again in uh, how to talk to, about Christ with people. Also, Sunday morning, we're continuing through Matthew chapter 9. We're going to be learning uh, about, uh, uh, about fasting. John's disciples ask a great question. Why don't you fast, Jesus? Why don't your disciples fast? And Jesus returns with some inquisition. And so he's going to be helping them think through what they're saying and what they're doing so that they would do it with a right heart and with the faith in Jesus rather than just doing it to try to be pharisaical and try to uh, become like uh, uh, somebody who thinks they can make it to God on their own. And so we're going to learn again how Jesus really helps us uh, understand that we as humans are unable, but God wants us to celebrate the fact that he has given us new life in Jesus Christ. We're going to learn some great things about that. Then Sunday night, we're going to be in 1 Thessalonians 2 again, and we're going to learn about uh, jo the joys and the crowns of living the gospel life. And who better to teach us that than Paul? Well, I'll tell you who, the Holy Spirit, okay? But the Holy Spirit of God used Paul to teach us some great things in his conversation with the Church of Thessalonica. And we're gonna be jumping in on that. Some upcoming events, we have a bake sale coming up this Sunday. Uh, bring your cakes, bring your brownies, bring your cookies, bring, bring your preacher's delight, which by the way, if you're wondering what that is, it's just a cherry cobbler. And uh, it, it's not, it's not, it is one of my favorites. So if you bring that, I'm for sure going to be bidding on that. I can't, I won't, I won't eat the whole thing, but I will be bidding on it, taking a spoonful of it and sharing it with everybody else. I love cherry cobbler. I love cake. I love all that kind of stuff. But as you know, I'm eating stuff in moderation. Uh, but this is going to be a great help for our teens and our youth to get to camp. So come not just with the baked goods, but with uh, a pocket full of money so that we can help these kids get to camp. I want to thank you so much for giving so uh, generously to these youth so that they can get to camp this year. Uh, so thankful for all you've done for that. All right. Another thing coming up, of course, is Mother's Day next month. Just in a few weeks, we're going to be having a Mother's Day celebration on Sunday. Looking forward to all that God is doing, everything we're preparing. 
for that day. We have a gift for every mom and uh, so grateful for the testimony of godly mothers at Faithway Baptist Church. We love you. Can't wait to see you this Sunday. Bring a friend. Uh, I can't wait to fellowship with you. God bless.